We're at 5K, but you say you're concerned that this rally might be running out of steam. Yeah, I mean, let's see how far we've come from. Uh, it's getting a little overextended. We're excited it's at 5K. Who's not happy <laughs> about that? But, uh, you know, given the run we've been on, I'm seeing some divergences, and people talk about the breadth isn't there. But uh, in the S&P 500, we're 10% above the 200-day moving average. Uh, when that historically happens, it doesn't mean we're going to crash or something bad is going to happen, but we're going to pause. It happened in December. It also happened back in July, and we pulled back. Uh, so now that we are a little overextended, it would take a lot to go much higher from here. We're watching the CPI this week. That could be the next catalyst. Uh, but the CPI is one thing that has moved the markets. And if we pull back, that's, that's not, it's not bad. It's not a bad it's, thing. It's, you know, we pull back maybe to 5,000 the way yeah. we're going. Don't forget, I mean, we put on, what, 20% since, since those lows just before Christmas. You do play, I mean, I think you knew that you were coming in today <laughs> with her. So you just played, you played the violin for her. You talked about yeah. small caps. You still say that they're 20% off their, their, their all-time high. And again, there's lots of notes coming into her inbox talking about yep. a new higher uh, nominal rate and what that would mean for small caps and some people are saying get used to a new paradigm a new higher nominal rate what would that do to the Russell what would that do to the small cap what would that do to value look what it's done already I mean it, it is 23 percent off its high as you mentioned just 20 percent off of it uh, it did not pull back like it has in the past so I, I brought okay. a chart of the uh, Russell the IWM <laughs> which mimics it the ETF there and uh, it was in a nice neutral chop zone as I like to call it for about 18 months and four times it got to the top and four times it failed at the 50-day moving average I have circles there this time it got to the rising 50-day moving average Blue three. and it held no it held Manus and now it's back above 2,000 in the Russell, the ETF is just under at 199. But watch the 205 level in the IWM. I think we're going to take a shot at that. That's the 52-week high. And you're going to see a rotation in this market. And rotation is the lifeblood of a bull market. This is what we want to see. So maybe these large caps that have kind of lifted us on our shoulders again this year pull back a little bit. Okay. We'll see what NVIDIA does next week. There have been but, so uh, many head fakes there when it comes to small caps, though. Oh, at, the end, at the end of last year, I mean, how many people did we have come on promising me that my small caps would break out? You became a bit obsessed. I did. I'm just, I, I I'm still just am engrossed in big tech and Mike's No, but because we've had so many people say True. small caps are going to break out, is it just a technical thing, or, or are we waiting for some data to tell us that it's we're all clear in that? Well, I think a rate cut will help. That'll be yeah. a nice tailwind for it to happen. But when you look at the technical, something is a little different this time. And that, to me, sets us up from a risk-reward point of view. I'd rather take a little more risk this time, knowing that if it fails at 50 day, all right, get out, let's try it again, because the upside, the tailwind is there. So I think the small cap play may be interesting. Now you got to look under the hood what small caps are going to lead. Staples have been struggling, uh, you know, with regional banks have been holding us back as well. Yeah. But uh, the staples are an interesting inflection point, too. If we can break out on the weekly chart, then that could be the rotation we see. We've written a, a great story about, you know, how did we get from, you, you know, the time it took us to get from 3,000 to 4,000, sorry, 2,000 to 3,000 was over 1,200 days. Mm -hmm. 4,000 to 5,000 took us 719 sessions. So, again, the, the sort Percentage of... Percentage points, though. It's, yeah, it's, okay. But, I mean, it's still, it's still about the time frame that it takes you to make these moves. Um, but looking at what was behind those moves was technology and energy. We've got another deal this morning, Endeavor Diamond. You look at some of the big deals that have gone through Exxon Pioneer. Uh, I'm thinking Chevron yeah. and Hess. When you look at energy, and a lot of that is about buybacks and dividends, which is the belly. That's the fundamental part of it. How do you look at energy uh, in, in the near term? Well, in the near term, I think this is good for the sector, seeing these deals go down. I'm always watching Occidental Petroleum to see what Warren Buffett's going to do next. If he's going to finally just say, all right, I'm going to bring it into the Berkshire family. Uh, energy had its run, in my opinion. Okay. It was the leading sector two years in a row. It, it's pausing. You watch the price of crude. Seeing these deals tells me that maybe... They, they need to merge because they think the run is over. Hmm. So I don't look at this as an optimistic thing for the sector overall. Uh, it's probably not the best place to be. Technology, it, it still will be the Play strongest suit. But yeah. uh, I, I, I like what I'm seeing on the surface and some of the financials continue to be strong. Staples are making a move. It looks like they've bottomed. Uh, and the industrials as well. Well, in that tech space, I know you like NVIDIA, 46% year-to-date gain. Yeah. Meta's at 32 Tesla out of the Mag 7 is down 22%. Jay, is, is Tesla still magnificent? 
uh, the car is great. Um, <laughs> the it, stock, uh, though. The, the <laughs> stock, uh, it would not be something I would, you know, put in my long-term holdings at this point anything, any time. Uh, they missed on deliveries again and again. Uh, the numbers have been underwhelming. Uh, but can it's I just, can it's can Elon I, Musk. I, how do you bet against Elon Musk? But, you know, technically, fundamentally, it, it's turned, and they need to show me something else mm. before I would jump back in. I think there are better places to be.